From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California with your big financial news and your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. Breaking news as a big set of checks have landed. Have you got to them? I'll go over those huge checks. Not one, not two, but three different checks have landed and they are deliciousness. We're gonna go over A, B, and C. A $6,500 check landed, a fifteen dollars to $80,000 check landed, and a $24,000 MSC check landed. Third and fourth stimulus checks have landed, baby, and I'm gonna show you how to get them. But first, we're going to start with the developing details of the Build Back Better Act. There's a new implication that maybe it could be done sooner rather than later because of world economic forces at issue. We'll go over all those incredible checks in today's recording. Then we'll be turning to what's happening with those inflation rates and those interest rates as well, as Jay Powell is likely to come in more aggressively because of Vladimir Putin. But will he potentially send us into a recession? All the latest details in today's broadcast of Afternoons LA. Then we turn to the developing details about what's happening with six stimulus. The allegiance of the United States, France, and Germany. The trifecta to solve oil, wheat, grain, and prevent a recession because of Vladimir Putin. But has that gone off the tracks? Other latest details on that today as well. Then we'll be looking to seven stimulus. Later in this recording, it is the student loan debt forgiveness of May 2nd. Will it get done or will the president just wait it out for another one to two weeks? We have the latest details on that and everything that's impacting your financial news across the board, including the implosion of the mortgage industry, the situation about those interest rates for SS300, the auto industry reporting bad numbers overnight, signaling a potential recession is on the horizon. All the analysis as well throughout this recording, big financial analysis and big stimulus checks. That's how we do it on an afternoon's LA for April 4th, 2022. Not one, but three checks have landed. I'll show you how to get them. They're coming up late in this video. And then breaking financial news on all these fronts and the looming horizon of a potential recession. I'll show you the economic data and what it means to you. It's a big afternoon from the shores of Santa Monica, California to the shores of Black Sea. We have all the date developing details on what's happening with the Ukraine war as well as it impacts you domestically, especially that oil. It's a big afternoon. I'm hoping you're ready because I'm ready for all the news from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Let's get to the breaking developing details. For April 4th, 2022, this, my friends, is a big afternoons LA light starting right now with all the incredible news you need to know it's a big day and a lot of money let's get to it starting right now And good afternoon, everybody. It's a big day with a lot of money at issue with those four stimulus checks of 2022. Lots of checks landing. And we'll have all the breaking developing details across this recording. Have you seen that preview? Here's again that big money that is landing. No less than three checks. Are you ready for them? All the latest details in today's recording. But first, we're going to start with the Build Back Better Act, the incredible money at issue. With the Build Back Better Act, lots of checks. Are you ready for them? They're coming up in this recording. Then we'll be turning to SS300. The developing details on that front, plus the developing details on six stimulus. Finally, student loan debt forgiveness, May 2nd. We got a huge recording with a lot of money and a preview of tonight's evening's LA in prime time. It's a huge show. You don't want to miss it tonight. It's 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's evening's LA, America's most watched show in financial news in prime time. Let's go over the incredible details today about the Build Back Better Act, three clusters of checks, three add-ons of checks, and everything you need to know. In that Build Back Better Act, they have fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks, and you are going to be excited. I am. 
program because look at this big money, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars across three clusters and three add-ons. So let's go to that first cluster of checks. Here we go. That first cluster of checks has that hazard pay and four thousand dollars of elder care, four thousand dollars of care for young children. Then thirty-six hundred dollars CTC checks, eight hundred fifty dollars checks for the college students, five hundred fifty dollars checks for the college students, twelve thousand five hundred dollars checks for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, and then money to repair your home if you live in a low-income community. The first add-on of checks is huge, a little bit less than $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. Oh my goodness. Maxine Waters got it in there. It's huge. Then as we turn to the second cluster of checks, home repairs and paid leave. Paid leave is a lot of money. It is a huge sum of money. Upwards of four to seven thousand dollars a year. How do you get it? Tune in tonight on Evenings LA. We'll have these checks in prime time tonight. And then home repairs in cluster number two to weatherize your home. But hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up right there. Put your pen and papers up right there. Because guess what? Joe Biden took that provision out of the Build Back Better Act and made it a law. Oh, yes, he did. He made it a law on March 31st, 2022. So a $6,500 check is now available for you. It is now landed. It is law. And it is the check A of A, B, and C in those checks that have now become a law. This is how things are moving so quickly. And this is why you cannot miss a single recording on this channel. Here we go. Here is that check that was supposed to be in cluster number two it is now out and there it is it is at number a we're gonna come back to that big check in a second don't ask how to get it because i'm gonna show you later in this video stay with me let's go back into that second cluster so home repairs that's out it is now law and pay to leave how much is that that's a lot of money folks that is four to six thousand dollars a year how do you get these big checks tuned to evenings la tonight i'll have all these checks in prime time at five o'clock pacific standard time our brand new broadcast now, let's go into the second add-on of checks, a little bit less than $250 billion. Bob Casey got it in there for free home health care and seniors on disabilities. Wow. We go down to the third cluster of checks where we find a true deliciousness. Free internet for all checks, farmers checks, independent contractors checks, seniors checks, and more. Free nutrition as well. Now, seniors getting lots of checks, which is par for the course for the seniors, because we got hearing, dental, vision, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55, potentially, and that Medicaid gap fix, which is bar for the course when we're talking about adding checks to the Build Back Better Act, the other checks that they would add in there. Of course, our MSCs, MSC, monthly IRS stimulus check. Incredible, incredible. And these are fourth stimulus MSC checks. So let's go over who gets it. Single individual, 75,000 less, you get it. Married couple, 150,000 less, you get it, double it. Family of four, quadruple it. And if you're on benefit, Benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, wear up benefits, you get it as well. It's not income, it's not taxable. And this is $2,000 a first month, $1,000 thereafter. How do you get this check? Tune in tonight on Evenings LA in prime time. This is the fourth stimulus, Build a Back Better MSC check. But out of nowhere, yes, out of nowhere, C came along. This is a MSC check now paying out. It is an MSC check now paying out from third stimulus. Later in this video, stay with me. We're going to go over all these three checks that have now landed. They're law. They've become a law. First, a $6,500 check from four stimulus has now become a law. It became law on March 31st. I'm going to show you how to get that big check later in this recording. Then at B, a $15,000 to $80,000 check is now landed. And viewers have actually gotten the check and cashed it so far. It became law on March 4th, which is almost five to six weeks away in the past. Then check number C, an MSC check. Oh, baby. This started paying out in 2021, but lots of viewers started getting those MSCs checks about two weeks ago. Average payout is $2,000 a month for 12 months. Those checks are coming up in just a second. But now let's turn to the other de developing details about what's going on with Build Back Better Act. We have a lot of breaking news on it today. And then what's going on with SS300? The news overlaps. So let's go over what SS300 is first and then go over the breaking news. SS300 is the promise from Joe Biden to swamp your COLA benefits out for inflation that would raise your benefits up about $200 more per month right now. Why so much? Because currently, inflation is tracking its highest price point of a generation, 8% in December last year, 8% in January, 8% in February, and potentially more right now. Why? Because the 10-year Treasury note and the bond traders have been trading up those Treasury notes for weeks. They think that inflation is actually higher. I think it is as well. Now, you want Jill Biden to swap COLA 
for inflation, your benchmark right now before inflation goes down. Because if you lock in 8% right now, that would be $200 more per month. Not just this month, not just this year, this lifetime. Wow. And then if inflation comes at 4% later this year in December, then you'd lock in another $100, SS300. Joe Biden made this promise at JoeBiden.com, his presidential platform. But there's another wrinkle to that. And that other wrinkle is Jay Powell. Here he is. He's the head of the Federal Reserve. His job is to reduce inflation. And how does he reduce inflation, Jay Powell? He raises interest rates. Okay. So as Jay Powell raises interest rates, inflation goes down. Down. That is why you want a Joe to make that swall, swap for COVID to inflation sooner rather than later, because you don't want to lock in a lower inflation rate. Let's say that Jay Powell reduces inflation down to 6%. That's not $200 more per month. It's $175. And this is a lifetime. So let's go over the analysis right today, where we are on this front. A lot of details. Number one, back in February, Jay Powell said, I'm going to do a quarter basis point at the March FOMC meeting of the Federal Reserve and continued a quarter basis point thereafter. But then we had a lot of pushback from those Fed governors under Jay Powell, like Wallace, Boulard, and also um, others. Among them is Lagarde, who is speaking today, and also Boulard. The interest rate push is to do half basis point among these more aggressive statements. And then Jay Powell came in and basically said, you know, you're right, I will do a half basis point potentially, he didn't confirm yes, but potentially, at the next FOMC meeting. And let me tell you where we are right today as a concern about stagflation, recession, and uncontrollable inflation is growing. The consensus among Wall Street analysts and myself is that Jay Powell will do two, not one, two consecutive half basis point increases at the next two FOMC meetings of the Federal Reserve. There's one per month. Ouch. That means that inflation's coming down. That means that your SS benefits would not be $200 if Joe waits any longer. It would be $175 or $150 or 125 So number one, Joe make that swap right today. I think we're okay in early April, as I always said. I think we're okay in late April, but it's that May situation that becomes problematic. So make that swap from COLA to inflation right today, Joe. What happens with Jay Powell? I believe he's doing two interest rate spikes of a half basis point, a lot more aggressive than quarter for the month of March. But if we get that swap to inflation to inflation right now from COLA, we're okay. What about later this year, though? Jay Powell originally said that he's trying to get inflation down to 4% in December. But in March, he changed and said, I'm trying to get down to 1.9%. You know, 1.9% is not good, folks, because that's only about $20 more per month. That's not another $100. Does, do I think that Jay Powell can get it to 1.9%? I don't think he can. I don't think he can. So I think we're okay, but I don't want to hedge my bet on this one. Joe made that swap right today, because if he gets it down to 1.9% later this year, that's not a lot of more money, folks. Now, let's go over the breaking developing details that impacts your build back better, that impacts your SS300. A lot of breaking economic data that came in the last 24 hours and the last seven days. The data collectively can be summarized the following. Weak, weak. Remember, if economic data shows the U.S. economy is actually weaker than analysts think it is, then that helps the push to do a Build Back Better Act. If you've been with this channel since day one, as we approach our two-year anniversary on April 25th this month, I've often told you that when economic data is too strong, we see the economy is too strong, then people don't want to do stimulus. When the economy is a little bit weaker, then it gives more push to do that stimulus. So the economy, economic data that came in the last seven days is weaker, and moreover, it's misses. What is a miss? If the economy, if the economists are projecting, let's say, 10,000 new jobs created tomorrow, and the number came in at 8,000, it's weaker. It, it's a miss. And then if it hit at 12,000 new jobs, it's a beat, meaning it came in stronger. So let's go over the economic data. Was it weak? Was it miss? Was it hit? Here's what I got to tell you. It's weak, and it's miss after miss after miss. First, the non-payroll jobs were released on April 1st, and it was a major miss. Wall Street was expecting 490,000 new jobs created in the month of March, non-payroll. Was it 490? No, it was a miss. 431, 431,000, ouch, that is a major miss. Good news for Build Back Better. Then it showed the unemployment number. We're expecting a big drop of unemployment. A big drop. Did we get a big drop? We got a weak drop. Only 3.6% 3 .6, 3 .6 decline in unemployment. That again, another miss. 
the day before, on Thursday, I believe it was the 30th of March, we had a miss again. Unemployment claims, new unemployment claims came in at about 200,000 new. This is a bad number, folks, because that is what we were at March 2020 before we went into the pandemic. Then we had the growth national product that shows the strength, how much the economy is growing. Growth nas gross national product, the GDP. Was it a beat? It was a miss. 7.1% was the prediction. It came in at 6.9. You see the trend of what I'm reporting? Then the housing starts. The number of homes sold in the month at issue. Well, this last month posted its in our numbers last week, and it was a miss. Housing starts down, and not just down that month. The fourth consecutive month where housing starts were down. Less people buying homes, the housing market shrinking. This is as the 30-year fixed mortgage rate surged to 5%, the highest level since the 1980s. That is a huge miss. And then today, what I've been telling you all weekend long, all last week, is the auto industry is in recession. The auto industry is having miss after miss. Cars are not selling. Well, what happened today? One of the major G one of the major U.S. manufacturers reported a big drop in sales of cars this time because of chip shortages. Whether it's supply chain or whether it's consumer confidence, miss after miss. So, what does this mean for you and your money? Number one, it's good news for Build Back Better. Because remember, if you have miss after miss after miss, people like a Joe Manchin are going to look at it and say, mm, but the economy is not as strong as we thought it is. We have miss after miss. Second, it's good for SS300 because j Powell is going to make a huge mistake. I've been saying it every single day on this channel. He's going to make a huge mistake if he does two half basis point increases. He's going to send you in recession because the economy is not as strong as he thinks. And that is why Joe Biden needs to make that swap from coal and inflation. And that is why that Build Back Better is likely to get done in the next 30 days. Well, folks, we have a lot of exciting great news for you. And the exciting great news is that not one, not two, but three checks have now landed. Oh, my goodness. Did four stimulus checks become law? They did. Did four stimulus checks deliver? A check to people's hands? They did. Did third symbols become law? Yes. Did MSC checks land? Yes. Oh boy, here we go. A, B, and C. First, I'm going to give you an overview and get ready for the details after the commercial break. Three checks have now landed. A $6,500 check became a law on March 31st, 2022. Had it become a law? The president made it law. Not with Congress, didn't need a vote of Congress. The president took a $6,500 weatherizing homeowners grant check out of the Build Back Better Act and made it law on March 31st. It is now law. Did I say it's not law? It's now law. <laughs> B, check B, $15,000, check, huge. It became a law on March 4th, the same way. The president took it out of Build Back Better Act that day and made it a law. And viewers have gotten this check. Average $66,000. Don't you want that money? It's a four stimulus check. It is now landed. How do you get it? It's coming up in the second half of this video. Get your pen and paper ready. Then a third check has now landed, but it's actually checks, plural. MSC, baby? Oh, yes, it is. It is a third stimulus MSC check that is averaging $2,000 a month for 12 months at least. And it has been lost since 2021. How do you get these big checks? I'm going to show you after the commercial break, but first become a member. Become a member because you have all these details, these checks delivered to you in the membership newsletter, the most sought about, sought after newsletter on the planet for financial news across the globe. Monday through Friday, it's delivered that membership newsletter to members. Become a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. It says member. That is Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP member. Then look for that membership newsletter Monday through Friday. It's delivered at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 9 o'clock Central Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. We're going to go over each of these one, two, three checks after the commercial break. Then we have more detail about Build Back Better, more breaking developing details about this stimulus for seniors, more developing details about six stimulus to battle recession. And then we'll have more details about that student loan debt forgiveness. Oh my goodness, that is seven stimulus. Plus we'll have the latest developing details that impacts your wallet. That is all six stimulus, wheat, oil, grain, gasoline prices and more. All that data coming up in the second half. We got a big afternoon's broadcast. We're just getting started. In the commercial break, become a member. I'll see you back in 60 seconds, but first, Here's the membership news. Here is the membership community page. See you back just shortly. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, 
Then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues. In the big second half of e Afternoons LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California, big money in that issue. We're going to go over more about that Build Back Better Act that is going to get done. Then we turn to the fifth stimulus for seniors. Then off to sixth stimulus for that SSR, for that huge recessionary solutions. And then off to seventh stimulus, student loan debt forgiveness. It's a big second half of this video. And first up, of course, is those big checks. Are you excited? I am as well. Hope you became a member during the commercial break. Let's go over the details of those third ch three checks that have now landed and the members have gotten. A, B, and C. First, we're going to go over broadly what these checks are, and then we'll go over the specifics. But here's what you need to know before we start. Number one, if you're a renter, if you're a homeowner, I got you a check. If you're on benefits, I got you a check. If you're a retiree, I got you a check. All you have to do is get that pen and paper ready. Get ready to take notes, and I'm going to slow it down one check at a time. We're going to go over three checks. Get ready to take your notes, and here we go. Are you ready? I'm excited. First, a $6,500 check became a law on March 31st, 2022. A. Let's go over check A. What is this check? First, let's go over the amount. It's $6,500 to start, but in some states, they pay more. Oh, boy, yes. They pay upwards of $12,000. So this is huge sums of money. Number two, where did this check come from? It is law. It was in the Build Back Better Act. But the president took this forcible check out and made it law by executive branch authority. He did not need a vote of Congress. He made it law himself. Third, what is it called? It's called the Weatherizing Homeowners Grant, and it's featured in the membership newsletter. Okay, let's go over the eligibility. First, the income qualification, so easy. Same as a third stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you can get it. Oh, boy. And if you're on benefits, can you get it? You can. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, RB benefits, you can get it as well. What is the last qualification? Well, obviously, you need to own a home. If you're a renter, stay with me, because that is check C coming up in just a second. So here you go, my homeowners. This is weatherizing your home grant. I've got a lot of questions about the word home and questions about the weatherizing comment. So home, don't worry if you're a mobile home or single family residence, just apply. You'll learn out the details as soon as you get to the application process. Number two, weatherizing. What items are weatherizing? Again, don't worry about this, but folks, this is a lot of items. And they may differ from state to state. Some states look at weatherizing different than other states. For example, in California, we don't have tornadoes, so they may not have weatherizing for tornadoes. In Florida, they do. In some states, they have hurricanes. Other states, they don't. So don't worry about that. Just get that application on file. Don't wait across the board. So how do you get that application file? How do you apply? Let's look at the details right now. You want to become a member because in the membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, delivered via the YouTube alert system, there will be a line item right at the top that says 
homeowners weatherizing grant. It'll give you a description, a little bit more detail than I just gave you. Then it'll give you the link. The link will send you into the national website run by the federal government. Then you choose your state, like Alabama, and then you choose weatherizing your grant. And it'll say literally Alabama weatherizing your grant. You apply and you get that check right away. That is huge and I'm really excited for you. Get that $6,500 check mentioned in the membership newsletter. Click the link and go ready to pounce. Let's go to check number B, fifteen dollars to $80,000 checks. These became a law on March 4th, so they've been law a little bit longer since about five weeks. These checks will run out, so don't wait on these checks at all. These checks are also for homeowners, and while they may look like A's checks, B's checks are quite different. First, the amount is a lot more. It is fifteen dollars to $80,000, huge. It is a forced stimulus check. It is law. President made executive order, made it law. What is it called? It's called the homeowner's grant. It is not for weatherizing. It's for a lot of other items. That's why the payout is a lot more money. For example, it pays for home repairs, not just for weatherizing. So there you go. The eligibility is just like the last check A. Income qualification, same. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you can get it. And then if you're on benefits, you can get it, baby. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rare old benefits, veterans benefits, you can get it as well. And if you're an owner, then you pounce. If you're a renter, stay for me for check number C. So with this check, you're going to open that membership newsletter, go down, and then you're going to see the homeowner's grant. It'll actually have the amount, fifteen dollars to 80000 That's how you'll also recognize it. It'll give a description of the check, a little bit more detail. It'll tell you other items you can use the check for, the signs, home repairs. It's incredible. You'll click the link and you'll go into the national website. Then you'll see a map. You'll click the map for your state. Let's see your Tennessee. You'll click your state of Tennessee, and it'll go right into Tennessee. You apply. There you go. It's important to apply it right away for all these checks. Why? Because it's first come, first serve. That is where the expression Purple Hawks came from. If you knew this channel, what is a Purple Hawk? I came up with the expression in January 2021, where I said you want to pounce like a hawk when checks become live. And because the channel is called the Pur Pur Purple Power Community, I said you want to pounce like a Purple Hawk. You don't want to wait around. You want to think about it. You don't want to ask people. You want to apply as quickly as possible. Number one, you want to become a member as quickly as possible. Number two, you want to get the application in this file as fast as possible. Let me tell you why. Because every day that passes, thousands of people get in front of you in your state. And suddenly you get further back behind and you're processing and your routing times get slowed down because there's a lot more applications to process in front of you now because you've been thinking about this a little bit too much <laughs> just to get the application on file. All right, you ready for check number C? You are. Here we go. I told you I got a check for all of you. Check C is for renters and homeowners. Oh, boy. So if you're a homeowner, you can get A, B, and C. And if you're a renter, you can get C. Let's get a look at this incredible C check. Again, this is about $2,000 a month for 12 months, $24,000. It is an MSC check. But I've had a lot of viewers who've gotten over $45,000. Average of this channel has been $45,000. And a lot of viewers have gotten over $150,000 from this. So how do you get this incredible check? Let's go over the details of it right now. First, the payout. Yes, it's a lot of money, folks. It averages about $2,000 a month for 12 months. So it pays out a lot more months than Build Back Better, which is six months. Number two, it pays a lot more money than Build Back Better, which is $7,000 approximately. This is averaging 24,000 to the a lot of viewers have averaged 45,000 but many viewers have gotten over 150,000. Finally, what is this? This is third stimulus. This is a third stimulus which became a law last year. Unlike check A and B where you click a link and you go into a website to apply, this revolves around using your telephone, picking up that phone and making calls. So where do you make the calls? I'm going to explain that to you right now. You ready? Keep on taking notes. Here we go. You're going to reach out to a series of places. The series of places you reach out to are the following. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, and your county housing authority. That's six places. That is four places. What are the other six? Your state hall and your state housing authority. Are you going to say the word MSC? Absolutely not. You do not use the word MSC. You're going to say the following words. 
rent assistance because of COVID, utility assistance because of COVID, mortgage assistance because of COVID, and Pounce Purple Hawks get all the applications in at six places. Do multiple applications and then get as far as you can these sums of money. Rely on that membership newsletter. I'll tell you why that membership newsletter really helps right here. It helps for a series of reasons. Those reasons are the following. That number one, so far I've shown you six places to reach out to, city, county, state, times two, but members get an additional five other places, the nonprofits. The nonprofits pick up the money when you may have issues locally in your state or county. We have that issue since day one of this channel. As this channel approaches its two-year anniversary, April 25th, 2022, I've done every state. Every state has money. Absolutely every state has money. When you reach out to all 12, 14 places. So Louisiana, Alabama, for example, didn't have money initially, but they had it in their nonprofits. So there's absolutely money all across the board. That is why the benefit of a membership is so important because you get more places to pounce. Now, remember, you're going to have about a 50% rejection rate. So every phone call that you make, you're going to get a no, but you're also going to get a yes on the next call, generally. So you want to pounce and and make keep on pushing. And if you get one place approved, you want to keep on applying for the other places. That is the true spirit of how this works. Let's continue. Become a member today. Get those incredible other places to reach out to. And then here we go. You ready? Wow, I am. Rely on those nonprofits because, boy, they do wonders. Oh, boy, do they do wonders. And then, of course, get the big sums of money. The average viewer's channel is getting about $45,000. Get, get these big sums of money today. And pounds per box, you can get it. Uh, do it today. Do not wait. Get these big sums of money. I have big faith in you across the board. And there you go. That is the incredible details of those three checks. But how do you become a member? How do you learn about how to, where are those links? How do you get everything you need to know? Become a member. The membership link is at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. Become a Purple Hawk, a Purple Power, or a Calcino VIP member. Then you'll get that newsletter delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 9 o'clock Central. It's delivered by, via the YouTube Alert System. The YouTube alert system, not by email, not by waivable check, not by lobsters. <laughs> so, a couple things. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I've, I assume you already are. Number two, go to the front of this channel. You'll see a little bell. Hit that bell. Make sure it's turned to all notifications on. All notifications. Not personalized, just all notifications. And then watch for 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And there comes that newsletter. First line of the newsletter is about the oil, wheat, and grain prices of today. That's how you know you have the newsletter. It also says newsletter. <laughs> and also has a graphic newsletter. And it also has, you know, a marching band. It says, here's your newsletter. <laughs> there you go. Uh, incredible details across the board. Get that incredible membership signed up today. And thank you to the new thousands of new members in the last few days. You want to become a member today. Let's turn to the developing details of six stimulus, about seven stimulus, and fifth stimulus. First, fifth stimulus. There's a lot of reason to get that SSI reform done. People have been asking me the differences of it. First, there is no element at issue right now, no congressional bill for fiscal stimulus right now, so we will watch it. Remember, the parts that cannot go by executive order are the forgiveness, the uh, the marriage penalty, the SSI, the the asset cap, and the income cap. Those need to go by Act of Congress. What about seven stimulus? Oh boy, this is student loan debt forgiveness. Really fascinating today. The president has set, according to himself, a May 2nd deadline for student loan debt forgiveness. Let's go over the details of that right now. That May 2nd deadline, it tees up a series of issues. What are they? When COVID hit, you didn't have to repay your student loan debt. Why? Because they put a moratorium or freeze in place. So you haven't had to make a payment for student loan debt repayment since the start of COVID. When does that end? It ends May 2nd, 2022. So the President's Chief of Staff, Ron Klein, says, you know what? We will make a determination about student loan debt by May 2nd because we understand that you have to start making payments that day. There's three opportunities for the President to do. Which ones do I think he's going to do? Number one, do nothing, remove the phrase, and ask you to start paying back money on May 2nd. I don't think that's happening, <laughs> so scratch that one off the list. The second one, keep the phrase in place past May 2nd. Say, I'm thinking about this a little bit more. I think he could potentially do that. And number three, remove the phrase, lift it, say start paying back money, but guess what? The rest of your loan is forgiven. I think he's going to do this. Why? Because the president's got a lot of pushback from a lot of people who's, who's publicly spoken out, not privately, saying Joe knows he can do this. 
who's the most convincing one of the people who said this? Joe Biden's former education secretary in the Obama-Biden administration. He said, I work with Joe. We passed the law that allowed the executive branch to forgive student loan debt. He knows he can do it. Why would he not do it? Oh boy, folks, that is convincing data. The other part of it is that if anyone's not convinced, who's going to undo it? <laughs> if Joe forgave your student loan debt today, let's say it's 50000 who undoes it? You need Republican senators to pass a override vote. And guess what? They don't have enough senators who are Republicans to do it. So this is a walk in the park. Just do it, Joe. Not a walk in the park at six stimulus, which is getting very confusing today. What is six stimulus? First stimulus was because of COVID. Second was about COVID. Third was coming out of COVID. Fourth is coming out of COVID. Fifth is for seniors. Seventh is for student loan debt forgiveness. But this one, six, ugh. This one is for a recession, yeah. It's stuff that's been caused by that guy in Russia, Vladimir Putin. That six stimulus is to shore up economic problems caused by Vladimir Putin. And those problems are oil, the commodities, wheat and grain and soybeans, and then finally, the banking industry, like Vladimir Putin's potential default by the end of the day on a $2 billion principal repayment. So let's go over the details of them right today and what's at issue. First, let's understand what six stimulus is because it's very important to understand how it got there and how it makely, maybe is not there anymore. Six stimulus was a trifecta of the progressive leaders of France, Germany, and the United States. Day one of the Russian invasion of, uh, of Ukraine by Russia, Anthony Blinken, your secretary of state, reached out to Germany and said, get off of Russian oil. They said, we can't. We're too economically dependent on it. They are. And then he said, you morally must get off of it. You morally, for the sake of humankind, get off of Russian products. You too, France. And then they all agreed, we will. France, Germany, and the United States agreed to a trifecta of progressiveness, teeing up a wait time to look at whether the president of France, Macron, is reelected in early April. And then if he is, then away we go, a trifecta that promised the following. France, Germany, and the United States promised to raise national debts domestically and then deficit spend and then send out money to its citizens. Because understand, you can't afford the price of gasoline through the month of May. You can't afford the price of bread through the month of May. So that was the concept up to last week until Germany seemed to revert its policies. Now understand who Germany is. Germany historically has not done anything like our economic policies ever. They think a totally different way. So when Germany said to Blinken, we will do it, that was a surprise. That's not a normal German approach. So what did Germany say last week? Uh, no, we're not getting off of Russian products. Hold up. Oh, boy. So does that mean the six stimulus is dead? In my opinion, it means that the six stimulus is really a nationwide policy. The United States may not be an alliance of the progressive three countries. But let's analyze it right now. First, Anthony Blinken appeared on broadcast news on Sunday morning and saying, it's been all wins for the United States in this Russian war. We have the NATO alliances more aligned than ever before. Untrue. Failure, not a win, because guess what? You have no agreement on oil and no agreement on commodities. Number two, he says it's a great win because the Russian economy is going into major meltdown. It's not a major win for the United States because we're going to recession because of this war, because we don't have short up solutions for commodities and also oil. Number three, he said that Vladimir Putin understands that what he's done will be punishable. Maybe, maybe not, but we're getting punished economically at home as well. So let's go over the data one at a time, starting with the oil. The President of the United States addressed the American people on Friday in the Oval Office saying that he has a solution for oil. And that solution for oil is the release of 1 million barrels of strategic reserves per day through the month of June. What are those? The President, or no, the U.S. government owns oil. It's called the strategic reserves. And when you release oil, you have more oil. And if you have more oil, the price of oil may go down. So what did the president say? He said, we're releasing 1 million of our barrels of oil we own per day through the month of June. And he said, that's bringing down the price of oil. <laughs> True or false? False. Untrue. He got it wrong. This is the way that oil and commodities work. You got 50 countries that use oil. If there's a shortage of oil across the 50 countries, the oil price goes up internationally, in this case, Brent crude. If one of those 50 countries says, I'm going to release some of my oil, 
Does that bring down the oil for all 50 countries? No, unless that country is like a Venezuela that has a lot of oil. The United States does not have Venezuela quantities of oil. We don't have that much oil. And 1 million barrels a day is not a lot of oil to be released. So this ain't going to work. <laughs> Who seems to also understand that? Joe Biden, because during that press conference, he said, and I got my strategic, I got my Western allies to release some of their strategic reserves as well. That sounds correct, because the way you do it is you get all the countries to release their oil. So suddenly the world market is flooded with more oil. The price goes down. Problem, it doesn't work. The problem is our Western allies do not have that amount of oil. In the case of Italy, they don't even have any stored up oil. Well, they have olive oil, but that's about it. In the case of Germany, they're dependent upon that Russian oil. They don't have a lot of strategic reserves. So the takeaway is this doesn't work. Now, what was very strange in that recording, in that announcement, is he did not mention the Iranian oil deal. What happened to that Iranian oil deal? I'll feature it tonight on Eating's LA at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Is the Iranian oil deal off the table or on the table? That was the deal that was going to bring you down your price of gasoline to its lowest price level generation. What happened to it? I'll feature it tonight on 80s LA. The second part of the equation is the situation on wheat and grain. The White House has not analyzed the situation. And guess what? You may see the price of gasoline drop. Maybe, if someone fixes it by the month of May. But then you go to the supermarket and your loaf of bread is $7. You can't afford a $7 loaf of bread indefinitely. You're going to recession. Our U.S. economy is going to recession. The world of markets are going to recession because no one has analyzed the situation for wheat and grain. This is what Vladimir Putin has done. He's circling the Black Sea region of Odessa, where all the wheat of that whole region is serviced and harvested. It's gone for the season. It's gone for next season. It may be gone for a few seasons. And now the price of wheat and grain is going up to its highest level of a generation. It's featured in the membership newsletter every night. The price of wheat and grain. Don't solve it. Under six stimulus, we all go into recession. And finally, other issues like that major April 4th day <laughs> today. We're going to see whether uh, Vladimir Putin defaults on that $2 billion in principal repayment. We won't know today. We usually takes a day or two to learn. If he does, his economy is going to meltdown. If he does, our U.S. economy will take a potential major hit because we know that some U.S. banks have that exposure. So this is very, very fascinating across the board. This is why six months is needed, because why? A recession is looming. And let's go over the analysis right now. You don't solve oil, we go into recession. You don't solve wheat, we go into recession. You don't solve the banking industry, you go into recession. You don't solve it for our partner allies, they go into recession, they draw us in recession. So are we going to recession? No. We are in recession. Yeah, that's my analysis today. I'll have more about tonight on Amy's LA. We are in a recession. I believe that two industries, the U.S. housing industry and the U.S. auto industry, are already in recession. And I believe those two industries will draw, will be the first two of many to come. You're going to see other industries going into recession. And you're going to see geographical territories, if you weren't alive during the last recession, certain geographical territories go into recession before others. I believe the East Coast will go in first via the housing market and the rental market. And then the West Coast will go last. That's how it's going to happen, in my opinion. But also at issue is not my opinion, Wall Street's opinion. They believe that Jay Powell has it really wrong. They believe that Jay Powell has chosen between two harms, high inflation or recession. That if you raise interest rates to bring down inflation too aggressively, as he's now vowing to do, you're causing recession. You can't have your apple, you can't have your cake and eat it too. I believe they're absolutely correct. I think that the two interest rate spikes of a half basis point will be the end of a claim for Jay Powell. Remember, he got inflation wrong last year. I said that inflation was not going to be that low number he predicted for 2021. I said it was going to be 8%. I was right. Then he said it was going to be transitory, and I used this hand gesture for months until my arm was stiff, a transitory temporary, and that was going to come back down. That's what he said, not me. I said, uh, I don't buy it. I don't think it's going down. <laughs> Guess what? It ain't going down. We have the yield inversion curve now, where shorter notes are paying higher interest rates than longer notes. Doesn't make sense. You go to the bank and say, I want to put away money for three months. You'll get a higher interest rate than if you put away for three years. Excuse me? That's called yield curve inversion. And it happens when you're heading into recession last time in 2006. A lot of data today, and that data all signals that we are either in a recession or going in a recession. My opinion, certain industries are in recession, other industries will be going as well. 
Tonight on News Analyte, we have a lot coming up. We have the latest breaking details on all fronts. We're going to see what's happening with the oil industry. In view of those comments by Joe Biden that seem to not fix anything, we're going to see whether that Iranian deal went off the tracks completely or just temporarily. We're going to see what's going on with Germany. Is Germany coming back to the table and being part of this trifecta for six stimulus, or is it not? We're going to see those comments by, um, I believe it's Boulard today, the Fed governor speaking about uh, the FOMC meeting coming out. He's going to speak about where the, the Bullock comment is going to be huge because it gives us an indication of where we're going next. And then, of course, we'll be focusing more back on those big checks. The way this channel rocks and rolls is I show you the money cash right now. You get the cash to cash right now. You don't wait because when cash is available, you get it. And those checks at hand are available right now. They're law. So get A, get B, get C. And get a membership right now so you get that newsletter Monday through Friday. Get those three checks. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, I look forward to seeing you tonight in prime time at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. For America's most watched show in prime time, it's Evenings Out Light. Do not miss it. It's your money. It's your wallet. It's your future. Stay informed. Stay focused. Have a beautiful day. Stay here and stay with LA for more.